This week's CBDNN, Dynafem and Humboldt Seeds are under investigation. So, yo, yo, yo. This, Scandals. Quite big. What's this was a little story? blip. This was a little blip on one of our radars, on yeah. a, one of our Telegram groups or whatever. Someone sent a picture from a Facebook they tried group. They to sneak through unnoticed, but and got seen. Got seen. And, uh, and it said, these guys are under ju judicial investigation. I was like, no way. These guys are legit. They're the OG, OGF. OGF. Yeah, they're OGF, like OGF, eh? Yeah. And I was like, okay. I went to their sites. Both of their sites, Dynafem Seeds and Humboldt Seeds. And lo and behold, there's a notice. We are unable to process any orders until further notice. Wow. Dear customers, we are very sorry to inform you that Dynafem Seeds is currently under judicial investigation. Unable to engage in any commercial activity. We are working around the clock to clarify the situation in order to resume normal activity as soon as possible. But we still don't know when we'll be able to operate normally in the way we have done for the last 21 years. Wow. 21 years. 21 years. Wow. That is insane. We'll keep you informed of any developments. Thank you very much for your trust. So now there's, there's no, we've had a look and there are no articles except for one now great forum, forum that's <laughs> talking about it. But there are no news articles anywhere about it. I can't read it. What does this say here? Yeah, there we go. So, so we, we looked hard, Oaks. We looked, like Dan says, there was no news about it. I looked on the Facebook pages, on their Facebook pages. Uh, they both posted notices in German, Spanish, English, and I think French, saying the same thing. And the, the, the posts, the responses were all sad face and whatever. But no one was like, spill the tea. And we can't find the tea. Maybe you Oaks at home can find us the ah. tea. But we found this post. Dan, can your eyes read it? Well, uh, yeah, here, this one, this one post, this one person says here... Yeah, um, <laughs> Humboldt Seed Organization, Dynafem, La Mota, all the same company, which is Pot Sist Sist Sistema. Sistema. Pot Sistema. It's the same. No, I can't read it. Put there. Who are in the investigation. Uh, there is an interview where the NA, the Nat from Humboldt Seed Company mentioned something. The yeah. yeah. HSO gets set up in Spain. Yeah, the tax. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably genetics. Yeah. So basically... You see, what we were saying earlier, we were chatting about this earlier, and we were saying that this is probably a company, a group of companies that work together, or mm. Dynafem, Humboldt, Lamotta, all under the same umbrella. umbrella. They mm. are all owned by the same thing. They are basically, what it seems to me is like, is they are just mass, mass seed, just mass banks. They're not yeah. this. It's like our mass mart of weed. It's like any mass mart of anything. Yeah. And they just sell lots of it because they have now got big money and they've made this huge mm. seed breeding system. And, my guess, I don't know, I wouldn't know. They've obviously been trading between seeds and different between c countries, and now they're an investigation or something. That's a trust for all something. I don't know. What, we will what, have to what, wait and what see you guys think something official comes out, but it's interesting. Yeah. What do you think they got stuck with their hand in the cushy jar doing, in the Girl Scout cookies jar? <laughs> what do you think, what do you think, fuck them? Because it's, I see Oaks are saying the Spanish government p potentially tax issues, or the, the, the government trying to muscle them out because it is now fiercely competitive in mm. Spain. Were seed breeders, yeah. or were they just maybe Loki dodgy, or maybe there was a Weinstein, maybe they forgot a to make steam. a monthly weed payment steam. to somebody to keep yeah, things going. Steam. I don't know. I don't want to say but that. But at, they're that, dodgy, at that, that size, though, there's corporate money involved, yeah. so it's probably quite deep. Actually, well, like we're saying, both yeah. sites exactly the same web, same advertisement or notice. Oh, sorry, yeah. it could be that it is a bigger thing that's yeah. happening there. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. could be that they're completely innocent and that they're a target of, of yeah. some kind of attack. Could be. We don't know. Maybe. Anybody on the chat though? Yeah, yeah guys, because we're going to have to read it to sleuth this. It's been out since the 24th of September, it's saying that. So there's a few days it's been out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's so weird. Yeah. And there's still no breaking yeah. details. There's the no article was from the 18th and the raid. They were raided they, on the, the 16th. Silver, you got up there? Yeah, Google raided is serious. serious. Okay, the, the Silver Spanish. Guardian inter intervened two days ago. Uh, uh, could be the Cohen company in, in, in an operation in which 15 people were arrested. Gnazia has been able to confirm that it is the La Morta group, controlled by the Pot Systemic Systemat Group company, which has a turnover of more than 18 million euros a year wow. and employs almost 100 people in Donost Donostia. Um, yeah. The Guardians are... Yeah, yeah. The article was from the 18th, so the raid happened on the 16th. From another article. 
15 people have been detained by the civil guard agents in an anti-drug operation carried out by the police force, according to sources in the investigation. The operation, which is still open, began yesterday in Donostia. The agents of the Armed Institute searched the warehouse of a company specialized in the sale of weed seeds and cultivation products. Uh, during the whole day yesterday, the agents inspected the premises of the above-mentioned company, located number 83-something, and it just says the operations just happened, it's ongoing, some people have been detained, uh, the action remains open, so the Spain. court maintains the summary secret. Spain. So it's yeah. like, are we even allowed to know what's going on? <laughs> Maybe that's why nothing's up. What's that? There's a press release, actually. It's in Spanish. No, it's English. English. So, it's yeah, it's the full statement on the 16th of September. Uh, we have also been forced to suspend all scientific research that we're carrying out in partnership with the University of Basque. A team of 93 people who are directly affected by this forced temporary suspension of all the activity. So, yeah, it's like 100 people affected, hey? Wow. That's quite sad, actually. That's 100 families, yeah. imagine yeah. three, four people. It's like three, four hundred people affected. Yeah. I've got to just stop. I just got to stop and be like, high five to the oaks on this thread. You yeah. saw so better than CNN, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Bring the facts out. Yo, you yeah. must get a job working for Alex Jones, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Is he still allowed to be on air? He's back. Oh, he's back. He's back. Oh, <laughs> Jay, baby. Yeah. So, guys, yo, yeah, it's, it's scandalous. What other people are, were saying in the thread, and we kind of said this to ourselves behind the scenes as well, is there's no seeds available on the site. Who knows what's going to happen here? Maybe these might be the last Dynafem and Humboldt seeds. Ooh, if you've wow. got them, hold on to yeah. them like wow. treasure. Or if you can get them, get to get them at off. Yeah, because we checked Attitude. Looks like they're still selling. So I think the suppliers down the chain that have are still selling. Mm. It doesn't look like stock, anyone's pulled product. Yeah. So, yeah. But some oaks are saying that they're going to keep it. Okay? Let's say let's say you got some of those seeds. Would you hoard them or would you grow them? Uh, I'd hoard some and grow some. <laughs> Split it down yeah, the middle. The no, but nothing you know, like in a comic or anything, nothing's better than a sealed pack. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's better than a sealed pack. Yeah, because yeah, we check attitude, still got gang. That seems to be the place. But also, guys, you can go check out the Heiko for our blog about all the locals. You can go check out Fields of Green. There's affiliates with all that. Uh, we're not going to kill a Boomschlang here and make him run around looking for it. But they, I think there are Dynafem and Humboldt seeds available locally from like Trophy and Green Smoke. And I did see some floating around. Dachan, and Biltong are. and all those oaks. So Dachan and Biltong. Biltong and Buds. Biltong and Buds. <laughs> Fire this man. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew what he meant though. Yeah, we all knew. There was only one Biltong and Buds. It's, it's yeah. a team effort. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I need Mo CBD. <laughs> No, thank no, you. CD. But I think I actually need to get higher. I think that's yeah. going to be the solution. Yeah. So, um, yeah, guys, if you can get them, hoard them, grow them, whatever, hopefully they come back. I've got a Humboldt shirt. I've got a Dynafem shirt. I've grown their pips. They're gas. They're OG. They're OG. Hopefully they recover from this, and this isn't the end. It's just a little bit of a trip along the way. I think 20, 20, 21 years of them being in the, in the, in sure. the market or in the oh, space well. doing what they're doing, they'll figure it out, I'm yeah. sure. 21 years where they've researched this. It's well, I'm sure, I'm sure they all they're going to do is just dig a bit deep in their pocket and pay whatever they're paying a bit more. <laughs> there we go. Because the dude oh. obviously had another kid. Yeah. And he's like, bro, I need an extra million. Yeah. Yeah. My kid is growing. They're expensive. Need a new <laughs> COVID now. did damage. I need to fix my house. Yeah. <laughs> you need that seven seater. Family's yeah. big. Maybe. He needs to buy that limo now for his yeah. house. Upgrade. It's interesting. It's even there, I mean. It is interesting. I mean, yeah. why would that happen after 21 years of yeah. operation in a league? In, you know, Spain has been in that club model for how many years? Uh, really Maybe know. they've just been doing Doja stuff with taxes, trying to yeah. minimize payments. I, I don't want to believe the worst of them. I'm, I'm mm. hoping, I'm yeah. just going to say it's a 2020 glitch in the matrix <laughs> and something's fucked out, somebody's wrong, and it'll all be all right at the end. Uh, yeah, I hope so too, because you know what? It, it would be sad. It's like seeing a Nike or a Reebok yeah. of weed kind of go away. You know? yeah. I'm not saying they've got the gas system anymore, by no means, because things have moved very quickly in the last five years or so. I but I've been honored to grow a lot of their seeds. I've been impressed with their stuff. I've been happy with smoking it. So guys, if you've got it, go it, hoard it, whatever. Mm. But let's hope they pull through. Hope but maybe, happen. maybe we all change our opinions. Maybe they work for DFL and Kwasiza Bantu and they've been growing Dynafem seeds. But I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see my local shops have no stock of that stuff. Of a quail, right? Yeah, it's all um, out. Fridges of branded fridges are empty. 
I yeah. think everyone is too is scared of an uproar and a, a complete civil like, mm. breakdown of their shop if they, they keep if they keep that. Yeah, <laughs> Julius pulls in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I agree that he didn't get molested. <laughs> God, sorry, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>